We got a cool van tour for you today. I'm Aaron, <laughs> I'm the owner of Off Highway Van. This is one of our new models. This is a, a Davy Jackson model. Flush inductive cooktop, drawer style. So we use a hydronic heating system. We've got a little lounge area up here in the front. It's all aluminum construction, yeah. and that's a standard. This, this is, is our modular shower and cafe seating. Uh, we do the a portable cartridge toilet. Um, we have a couple of options. We also have a dry flush and even a, uh, oh, a composting okay. toilet that gives you your battery controls. It gives you some 110 outlets, some power outlets for 12 volt. You can generate so much energy just from the sun on your solar. And that is a heated gray tank, so it won't freeze in the winter. These range from 180 to 220 for the build-in and chassis. Hey, we got a cool van tour for you today. We are standing in an off-highway van. I'm Aaron, <laughs> I'm the owner of Off-Highway Van. Um, you've seen a tour with me before and Scott uh, when we did a van about I don't know, it was like three years ago. It was, it was like COVID, we were just talking about it. I think we did it in masks. We had uh, masks on. Yeah, so we've come a long ways here at Off Highway Van, and uh, this is one of our new models. This is a, a Davy Jackson model built on a 170 all-wheel drive Sprinter, and uh, yeah, we can walk through it. Yeah. Let's start with the galley. This is uh, our 40-inch galley. Uh, this is uh, our standard size. We put it in most of our builds. Um, the 40 inch galley has a uh, flush inductive cooktop. Um, we put a lot of battery power in all these fans, so we always take advantage of that battery power with a, an inductive cooktop rather than a, than a gas one. Um, it's a little safer and a little cleaner, uh, and it gives you a good surface area. So no propane on board? No propane on board. Nice. No, it's a standard for off-highway van. We just, we lean on the solar and the lithium battery technology. Um, it's just kind of our, our signature. That's great. Um, it's got a, uh, a flush mounted sink, Whoa. stainless steel flush sink in there. And uh, we, we put this nice cover over the top so you again retain some counter space, uh, pull out faucet. Um, you can even pull this out the door and oh, it's yeah. a little bit of a, you know, you can do some laundry or washing things up. Uh, wash the kids <laughs> uh, outside the shower because it pulls right out the slider door. That is so um, great. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really full featured. And then here we have a Isotherm, huh? Yeah, this is our Isotherm Inox uh, 130, so 130 liter fridge, drawer style. Um, it's got great space. You can access it from both sides of the alley, so it's really perfect in a, uh, in a layout like this. Um, it's got a freezer, uh, temperature control, the whole works, LED lighting. Beautiful. And then storage, looks like you got three drawers here. Yeah, so um, we do uh, a pair of drawers and then a tip out. Ah. So we've got storage for like a sponge and soap. Oh, sure, for the uh, sink. For the sink. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then we have two pull out drawers. Uh, very nice, they're removable if you need to service anything. And then below this, you'll find this is our heating system. So we use a hydronic heating system in this van, as with most of our models. So the hydronic heating provides our hot water and the heat for the van. And then these are the outlets for that heating system. And for those that don't know, just explain quick what hydronic is it runs off fuel from the chassis. Yeah, so the hydronic heating system is a, uh, we use an SBAR furnace. So it's a diesel furnace that uh, heats up glycol and that glycol then provides, uh, goes through a heat exchanger and provides hot air for the heating of the van. And it also runs through a water to water heat exchanger and provides the hot water for your sink and or shower. Super great. And kind of right behind you, Aaron, looks like, I don't know, the dinette area. So. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a little lounge area up here in the front. It's a, it's a piece of this model, our, our Davy Jackson model. Um, it's seating area. It's got a good view of the outside. When you're camping, you can go look out this underneath the Grand your, Canyon. Yeah, the Grand Canyon or <laughs> our shop, or one or the shop, other, but yeah, right. it, it, we'll, we'll just assume it's the Grand Canyon. Um, but you've got a good place for getting geared up. You can eat here. You've got your lagoon table. Both the front seats swivel around. So yeah. it's a really nice lounge area for three or four people to hang out and have good access to the out of doors. Uh, vented window behind that yeah. to give good airflow and uh, you know a little bit of storage over the top. Yeah, and these are pretty big, right? I think it was... Yeah, this is our 36 inch cabinet. It's got uh, a, a padded subfloor in it, oh, so yeah. uh, it's quiet. Oh, that's nice. um, And you know, that, so your stuff doesn't rattle around. Um, it's got your storage for your uh, for your, all your remotes yeah. and things like that. And it's metal. Yeah, all is... all aluminum construction, yeah. and that's a standard for off highway van. You'll see it in our galley, um, all of yeah. our upper cabinets, um, and really any furniture in the van is, is going to be that. We use some, some wood. This is our hardwood faces. This is cherry. Um, we have a local craftsman who does all of our, uh, 
our high-end woodwork and um, and so we provide that as an option in all of our it's builds. really beautiful thanks and I so this is a lagoon table we're pretty familiar with these there's one here and there's one right by your leg here so yep. if you want to move this outside you can do that too right exactly then yeah. it becomes a little table uh, for holding some drinks or, right. uh, or whatever you've got when you're outside underneath your awning that's beautiful then we got a little bit of storage up here yep our aluminum overdriver shelf um, obviously storage is critical in all of these vans and so we try to give as much storage area as possible right love the flooring so this is really interesting um this is your shower yeah so this tell us our... about this i love this look how beautiful that is yeah tell so us about this this, this is, is our modular shower and the reason that we developed this product is because sometimes a full-size shower in a van it blocks all of your sight lines and it makes it feel very closed um, and whereas this modular shower version um, this is also countertop and storage but it is also privacy for using the toilet or for taking a shower so we have a curtain uh, with this nice curtain rod here obviously a little stuck but but this pulls around and gives you the privacy but it also stows away in a little bag and you take down our lightweight aluminum tent pole uh, holder and the lid comes down I'll show yes. you a photo of that yeah. later okay. and uh, when I when I pull this off um, and then you've got more counter space which is always a premium in all these yeah. vans especially when you're trying to prepare yeah stuff you've got for, yeah, food right. prep over here uh it's very good working height and then this becomes good gear storage you can store your ski boots in there you can store your dirty hiking shoes whatever you want right and so uh it's really dual purposing right because that's the key to all vans is you right. want to be able to dual purpose space there's just you're you're dealing with you know whatever 80 or 100 square feet total and you've got to be able to take full advantage of it and sometimes you need a shower but sometimes you just need storage dual use so important i just yeah. love the teak mat thing down there that's yeah yeah we do the teak really floor so you're not beautiful. standing in water um and yeah. uh yeah it's great and then you know the the yeah this was clips up here for better access when you're when you're actually showering That's um, so great. yeah and I'll uh, I'll demo it down because this is a this modular shower is really a key to uh, yeah. a lot of our off highway van builds and it, like I said it can be we have a full size shower as an option as well for people who want a little more uh, discreet uh, privacy area so let's talk about toilets. So I see one back here. So you guys have kind of the portable toilet situation. Yeah, we do the a portable cartridge toilet. Um, we have a couple of options. We also have a dry flush and even a, uh, oh, a composting okay. toilet that we can put in these vans. Um, in this case, the customer has chosen to store it on our, our storage tray in the back, but um, they also can be stored in the shower area yeah. and then removed uh, if you're showering to, to free up a little bit of floor space. Yeah. But obviously you can use that in the shower um, with the privacy curtain uh, for, That's cool. for you on the toilet. So we got to talk about the toilet a little bit more. So um, you have a couple options for your customers to choose from. Yeah. Um, you don't do the cassette that comes out of the side of the van, though, right? Like we a don't. don't. So, no. you, so it's an internal system. Yeah. So tell us about the dry flush. That's the Lavio. Yeah, we use uh, a Lavio dry flush toilet. That's one of our options for our builds. Um, generally, we put in uh, in either our full size or our modular shower. We put in some retainment system so that you can have it in your shower area or remove it if you need a little extra space when you're showering. Um, it's a very convenient option for people because you're not dealing with any liquid waste uh, and so you don't have to like have a black tank or remove a cartridge and take it in and, right. and dispose of it that way so I think it's a really good option for people um, the cartridge toilet which we also offer to people um, that uh, can be a better emergency toilet and it stores a little bit because it's a little shorter so it's less convenient to use because of the height of it but also it's a it's a good option so we yeah. offer both those so, for people so options being the key thing here yeah totally uh, you know it's, toilets are a very personal thing in camper vans <laughs> and so are. we have those discussions with all <laughs> of our customers and it's, know, a, it's not always the funnest thing but you got to deal with it you got to so deal it's with a real it. it's a real thing it's with a real camper thing vans. um a really innovative shower i'm thinking of cursing anything like that yeah uh, let's talk about um this area i'm standing in and then let's talk about the bed back here aaron yeah uh so let's uh, have it explain this so this is our lounge seating area uh, in, in this van. Um, the nice thing about a 170 van is you open up a bunch of floor space. And so with our uh, sideways sleeping in here, this is an east-west sleeping arrangement with flares, it, like it frees up a lot of floor space. And so in this space, we have the ability to have cafe seating um, and you can put a lagoon table in between yeah. or a marine table in the floor to have a, a proper seating for four for, for dining. and um, also we have a version of this that deploys to being a bed it's actually not in this one this one's all just for storage but we have a version of this that it deploys to being a cross the van comes sleeping. together comes together yeah it just 
uh, release the latches and both of these deploy and they meet in the center, the cushions flop down and you've got a bed. So you've got sleeping for two adults, sleeping for one uh, adult if they're big, uh, <laughs> two, two children perhaps. Right. So it's really good uh, dual purpose area inside this van. It's just so beautiful. This is like fabric. And I love this. You probably saw this already, the mood lighting, right? Yeah. It's just so well done. Thank you. We, uh, yeah, we've been putting that uh, ambient lighting, that mood lighting in all these vans. It's nice because they dim with the overhead lights. And when you take the lighting yeah. down, especially when you're out in the, uh, out in the middle of the backcountry when it's really dark outside, you don't want a lot of light, but you want it just a little bit to be able to get around the van without tripping over stuff. hundred yeah. percent. And then the bed here, is it a, does it break in half or is it kind of a permanent or how's this work? This is a, um, I'll call it a semi-permanent bed. Um, so this bed is an aluminum three panel construction and uh, it can be unthreaded without tools. Uh, so it's, it screws to the wall, so it's quiet. That's the important part, uh, right? We don't want this thing to make noise for you. But if you want to remove it to be able to install some, install some like uh, full-size e-bike, something that's really tall, the three panels come out uh, very, easily. very easily. Yeah, sometimes people want to use their vans as a pickup truck too. And so it's nice to have that option. Uh, right? There's so much garage storage. Could you get a, a bike in here? Yeah, Aaron? absolutely. So, yeah. All of our beds are designed with a 38 inch height from floor. Really? And that is there to allow uh, the storage of bikes under there. Um, even if you don't have a dropper post necessarily, you can get that. That's the 38 inch magic uh, height we use. This is uh, underneath here. It's probably a little hard to see with uh, without the lighting on, but the storage tray, this actually will hold four bikes. So you wow. you you stagger them so the handlebar is forward on two and handlebar is rearward on the other two right. and this will hold four bikes wow. and uh, it slides out the back so, so uh, it's, it's nice. a very good uh, usage of uh, the storage space and we're gonna jump outside in a minute and show you these flares because they're kind of cool but this is really nice to have really wide ones and we have an air conditioner I see yeah this is our uh, the nomadic uh, XD3 unit okay. uh, it's a very efficient uh, 12 volt 12 unit volt, yeah. um, and that's the important part for us you know we really focus on our off grid yeah. um, you're not going to run a generator uh, so we want it to run off 12 volt and be efficient and we put a big lithium battery bank in this van so it'll give you you know four to six hours of runtime if you wanted to upgrade to one of our higher lithium options you can get it so it'll run you know 12 hours and that's probably where the lithium and the water go uh, yeah vice versa the okay. uh, electric is always always on the uh, driver's driver side, side and the water is always on the passenger side okay. um, 22 gallon freshwater tank in there, 15 gallon gray underneath the van, um, and the, all of the hydronic heating components that we talked about earlier are inside the with side. the water container. Um, on the back of that box, we'll see it at the end, rear shower uh, outside. So you can okay. do an outside shower or the inside shower, both hot water. And again, it's all metal construction. Yeah, it's... all aluminum construction, uh, bolted together, machine screws, not not sheet metal screw or not drywall screws, things right. like that. We want to. This has got to live going down a washboard road. Right. People are going to get off grid with these things. So let's talk about um, some insulation, the wall coverings, and then people are always curious. You got a lot of sleeping capacity here, which is pretty unusual. How many? people can you travel in a van like this? Yeah, the traveling in this van is a, it's a good question because it's a 170 van. So some people will be, you know, a couple that is trying to go live in the van full time. And so uh, that's this model of it. It doesn't have seating for, uh, belted seating for four, but uh, the, the area in the front uh, can be equipped with a dual uh, seat belt uh, equipped uh, seat up there so you can travel with four and then obviously as we Sleep, talked about yeah. you have plenty of sleeping for that yeah, same four people amazing. so it's really a good flexible and that's all on our Davy Jackson model um, it's a configurable floor plan so you can switch out a couple of different things uh, so the full size shower the half shower the that bench seat or a proper belted seating arrangement you've got a lot of options okay right? and it's just, it, it's really a very different floor plan I don't think I've ever seen anything like this um, so good job. Yeah, thanks. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it's a it's a very open floor plan, and and I feel like, uh, you know, with our upper cabinets and our half shower, uh, it, it really makes this van feel open and very large, and that's yeah. not common in a lot of builds. So no. it's one of the things we pride ourselves on. I completely agree. But the thing I just is the color scheme in here, Aaron, is just beautiful, and I just love how you expose this really gorgeous plywood. Uh, marine plywood, right? Yeah. Uh, really good stuff. Um, not the cheap stuff you get at the old Home Depot. Yeah. This thing is really, it's an inch, isn't it? It's an uh, inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter. Yeah, it's inch really and a quarter. Beautiful. But the, you know, the, the color scheme, the wall cover, give us kind of a rundown of that because it's just gorgeous. Yeah. Um, our customers have 
the ability to personalize their vans uh, when they go through our process. And that's one of the, the, the things that we can offer in a, in a custom built and a personalized van. So people choose the fabric. You see this, this beautiful uh, rust colored uh, yeah. fabric. It's awesome. It's kind of a desert themed with the, coupled with the tan walls. Um, we have a bunch of wall fabrics you can choose, a bunch of cushion fabrics that you can choose, um, even powder coat colors, flooring. Um, just part of the experience you get when you build a custom van yeah. with off highway van. And again, all the aluminum yeah. uh, materials, just for durability's sake. And tell us about the so insulation behind this. You guys are like a four season van. Yeah, the this van is a four season van, which means it's got doubled up thinsulate. So we use two layers of the 3M thinsulate, which is uh, it, it's hygro so basically it does not absorb water uh, and so it doesn't uh, get moist in here and doesn't capture dampness and you don't have to worry about mold or anything like that. Um, hygroscopic is probably the correct word for that <laughs> uh, and uh, but basically it doesn't it doesn't attract water or you know because you're breathing in your van you can put a lot of, a lot of moisture out so we want it to be and you know, people who are skiing they're always yeah. got wet gear in here yeah. so we want the your insulation your wall materials to not absorb water. The wall panels themselves are a composite material. They're a high density polyethylene plastic with aluminum skin on it. So there's no wood in these walls. And so it won't absorb water, it won't rot over time, um, and it'll, it's super durable. Uh, and it's very lightweight as well. And this is a beautiful control panel, so everything in one place. Yeah, uh, uh, it's our. It's been our standard for the past four or five years um, in building these vans. We've put all of the controls in one area. It gives you your battery controls. It gives you some 110 outlets, some power outlets for 12 volt, and your switches for all your main components, cabinet lights, overhead lighting, things like that. That's so great. So we're going to show the outside, but the, what we want to talk about is electrical system because people are always very curious about electrical. So. Um, solar and lithium, how does that work with your vans here? Yeah, 90% um, of our vans are built with lithium. Um, we do still have some options for AGM, but, but lithium is our, is our main go-to. The technology of lithium has come into play in the last you know, three or four years. It's really become well-developed. Um, the price points have gone down. You can get more storage. Uh, it's efficient and... Um, you can harness the sun. We live in Utah uh, and we sell a lot of our vans to Utah. It's so key to harness that sun. So we put uh, 360 watts of solar on a van like this. Um, we have uh, up to five kilowatts. Uh, even in the future, we'll be up to eight or 12 kilowatts of lithium available in there. Um, and you know, it just depends on your on your usage, but we have those options available and lithium is just the way to go right yeah. now in these camper vans. So no generators. No generators. No, great. there's no reason to. You can generate so much energy just from the sun on your solar. Um, we have these really great ruggedized solar panels up there. They're not your uh, modified house panels that people bolt to the roof of their vans. These are a, uh, they're a potted epoxy based uh, panel laid on an, a, um, a fiberglass substrate. So they're, they're meant to be mobile. They're meant to put up with the vibration. They won't fail over time like a house panel. They won't get delaminated and lose efficiency. Yeah. They're meant for mobile use and they're, they're really great. And the, with the 12 volt AC, it just pulls less power and a really well insulated van you can get away with solar doing a lot for yeah you. yeah completely um you know we have so many customers that are visiting the national parks uh in utah and around the country uh and pets are always an issue and so sometimes you have pets, to leave yeah. your pets in your van and so you want that air conditioning or you want that air conditioning just for the hot uh hot days of summer you know august gets hot around here as it does <laughs> in most places in the country and so but you want to be able to run that air conditioning to take the you know to take some of that heat away and um lithium gives you that ability and you can offset that power consumption by having a great uh, solar system on the roof. That's so great. Um, jump outside, show us around. Yeah, yeah. let's do Let's okay. do a little outside okay. tour. Aaron's going to give us kind of run around this van. It's really handsome on the inside. It's handsome on the outside, too. Huh. Um, want to show us what's going on? Yeah, for sure. This is a, a pebble gray, which is a, a beautiful color from uh, Mercedes. It's a, a common one that we use. It's a 170 Sprinter. Um, you can see our hood wrap on the front of the van. The uh, it does some protection for your paintwork, and also it's a very distinctive look and uh, helps brand the off-highway van and uh, allows you to show it off to your friends. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be jealous. Yeah, yeah. this is our uh, our rack. Uh, this is our, our slim rack that we make for these vans. It holds our 360 solar and uh, a 40 inch light bar. Um, it also has the ability to have the side pods for, for flood lighting, for you know, setting up your camp area and whatnot. Um, from the outside, you can see 
Uh, the vented windows that we use, these are really great windows. They're a full opening with a screen, and then the screen will move out of the way as well, so you can pass things in and out of your van. Um, it's actually that's, really convenient to work cool. with. Um, Scott, you pointed out that we don't have a lot of cut holes in the side of our van. We try to not put more holes in than we need to because it's just a place for rust to start and right. things like that. So, uh, but our gray tank is mounted underneath and it's mounts to our uh, to the the pinch seam here. Um, it's our drain for our 15 gallon gray tank, and that is a heated gray tank, so it won't freeze in the winter. Nice. Um, you can see this has our method wheels on it and our 265 BF Goodrich tires, which is a standard. Uh, upgrade on these uh, these vans. The, they always come with a BF Goodrich tire at any of our builds, um, and this person chose to do the method wheel upgrade. So nice. Yeah. And I love the flares. I've, I've never seen this. Is this kind of you? Yeah, this it's, is our, uh, it, it's only used on our proprietary builds. It's got our logo uh, built into it. Um, we have these made in a local uh, fiberglass place. And with glass, it's just it, Yeah, stunning. and the Huge. same glass uh, window style with the full opening sliding window with screens. It's so beautiful. Yep. Uh, and this customer um, opted not to have a ladder. Yeah. Uh, which is part of the options thing, Yeah, right? which uh, it's, is... you know, all the overlanding stuff, we, den we tend to treat as an option for our customers. Uh, you know, obviously we have some packages that include a whole bunch of things, and this customer thought he might do the ladder down the road, but he wasn't sure if he needed it right now, so we built it without. So that's so great. Um, again, another bump out on this side. Yep. And this here is the uh, heating exhaust, is that right? Yeah, that's the exhaust for the diesel heater, uh, provides the, the heat for the... Uh, for the glycol system that provides the hot water for your shower and also the heat for the inside of the van. Probably the last thing that's kind of obvious here is, is the awning. Yeah. Big awning. Yeah, we do a 13 foot awning on these 170 vans. Uh, it sticks out eight feet. It's actually a power awning. Uh, it's kind of our signature. We, we've always done these power awnings. They seem a little extravagant, but the power, serves a really good purpose. One, it's got some lighting. Uh, it's good ambient lighting for camping because it's not super bright. Um, also, it's got a wind sensor. So if you go for a hike and the wind comes up, you don't get your awning ripped off. It'll automatically retract uh, and save the awning. Just beautiful, clean, simple, but elegant. So well done. Thank you. Pretty cool, right? I mean, I'm just always smitten about these adventure vans. You guys have done a really beautiful job. Yeah. It's really really well done um, maybe uh, folks probably have questions on price range and warranties uh, that usually comes up in questions so maybe you can help us with that yeah um, you know visit offhighwayvan.com that's where all the latest information will be um, a van like this this is a Davy Jackson built on a 170 chassis sprinter uh, all-wheel drive and uh, these range from 180 to 220 for the build and and chassis so uh, you can go there and get details on what's included in the builds and uh, talk to any of my sales associates and uh, we can talk you through a build and talk all the customizations that we uh, that we do for these vans. Right. This is a personalized experience. Uh, you can buy this van and uh, build it out to exactly match your tastes and needs. Which kind of leads us to a warranty? Yeah, after service is super key uh, for off-highway van. It's one of the things that we, uh, we, we pride ourselves on. Um, it's a one-year uh, one year unlimited mileage warranty uh, on all the workmanship and uh, and then any of the individual components that we install inside that van um, are covered by the manufacturer's warranty. That's so great. So again, offhighwayvan.com, where to go. Um, I think they're going to be on a What's Up Wednesday upcoming uh, later this year, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, you'll want to see the video about the uh, lift and the accessory. So if you uh, haven't seen that, you'll want to check that out. Um, these guys, again, are the ones that lifted my van um, th almost three years ago. Yeah. And it was still the best money I've spent on the van without a doubt. So awesome. Aaron, just thank you again for your time today. I'm um, sharing your Thanks, passion Scott. with the, with the, with the folks and just nice job. Always great to have you around. I appreciate that. Thanks. Try to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Ain't hey, look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for something Digging deep since 99 What I thought
found was gone was Sitting in my pocket In plain sight all along I think it's time for me to go Burn all bridges All I know I got lost along the way Fell between 